Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Aviation Institute of Maintenance's new campus in Chicago. It is great to be here. My name is Joel English. I'm the Executive Vice President of AIM, and uh, it's my pleasure to get us started this morning with the incredible esteemed group of people uh, today. We've got a lot to celebrate. I want to thank Governor Pritzker for uh, joining us today, uh, as well as uh, Marie Newman, U.S. Congress, LaShawn Ford, and Teresa Ma, both state representatives in the Illinois Assembly, Mayor Kenny Alexander from Norfolk, Virginia, and the Chancellor of AIM, as well as uh, Mr. Yegan, Gerald Yegan, the founder and president of Aviation Institute of Maintenance, um, and a number of esteemed speakers in the workforce of aerospace, including Michael Fasnott the, uh, of uh, the World Business uh, of Chicago, Juan Sargado, the chancellor of City Colleges uh, of Chicago, John Holmes, the CEO of AAR, Kurt Cop Carpenter of United Airlines, um, and just such an incredible, renowned group of people who are here on a mission to increase and improve upon the aerospace industry and workforce in Illinois, Chicago, and throughout the country, but also on a mission to improve the community of the Chicago area. And that's probably the most important vision that we have to, in, uh, to improve business while we improve community and we all can see amazing things happen. We have a lot to celebrate. Three dates are on my mind. Three dates. One of them, September 15th, 2015. Uh, 15, I'm not sure where that came from. 2021. September 15th, the day that we cut ribbon and introduce Aviation Institute of Maintenance to Chicago. Thank you all for being here to celebrate that date. Another date that I have in mind is only a couple weeks from now, September 27th. That is the first day of classes at AIM. And that really brings me to the greatest celebration. I mean, we have a lot of speakers that are here to talk today, um, but the, 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 the people that I'm most interested in thinking about are Tyreek Brandy. Tyreek, are you with us? Tyreek, stand up for us one time. Tyreek Brandy. 18 years old, Tyreek heard about AIM as he came through the City Colleges of Chicago sheet metal program. So Tyreek is um, already credentialed with, us, uh, with a program that was a collaboration between AAR, one of the largest aviation companies in North America and in fact throughout the world, and City Colleges, Olive Harvey's transportation program, where they said, you know, we need some aviation uh, business. Tyreek said, show me how this is done. And after he graduated that, from that program, he said, you know what? I want to get a full FAA certification to become an aircraft mechanic. And that's where Tyreek is headed. <laughs> and also Brian Roberts. Brian, you with us? Hey, Brian. How's it going, Brian? So... Brian Roberts is, um, uh, is not 18 years old, are you, Brian? Uh, uh, Brian is uh, further on in the middle of his career, actually is an um, uh, uh, employee with Chicago Public Schools and works with disabled students in Chica uh, the city of Chicago to help his students work through the program and said, you know, I, I get a lot of fulfillment out of my job, but I hear about aerospace and I want to see work in there. Salvador Haveka. Sa Salvador, are you with us? Salvador, another student who will be starting school with us on the 27th. And, and uh, for, for these young men and the, and the folks that will join them for our first class, we look forward to them learning on all of these aircraft that are around us and learning for all of the uh, to, to go to work for the employers around us. And to use three, three guys, three of our very first enrollees, I want to look at the third date in mind. And the third date is June 11, 2023. On June 11, 2023, these three will graduate our program with an FAA certification as an aircraft mechanic and United Airlines, AAR, Launch, Southwest, and all of the other employers will be competing for you.
And I got to tell you, you know the statistics already. A certified aircraft mechanic has an average wage of $72,000 right here in Chicago. And I'm going to tell you something, AAR, United Airlines, and Launch. You better bring the big bucks because these three are going to be worth it. So for all the families that are looking at this aviation school on South Ashland Avenue and wondering, huh, is that my future? I congratulate you three for being three of the first to say, I think that's my future. And think about how you're going to be able to feed your families in the future, how you're going to be able to look at these large aerospace companies and say, I am your future, because you absolutely are. Folks, it's a great day of celebration. Um, so much to be thankful for. And it is my absolute pleasure to, hey, I've got a voter card that says Norfolk, Virginia, but I feel like my governor is right here, a governor that is uh, in it for business and in it for culture and society in Illinois. It is my extreme pleasure to welcome Governor J.B. Pritzker. Well, thank you so much to Joel, and good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'd like to start with a, a warm welcome, frankly, to our partners here with us from the aviation industry. Uh, first to John Holmes, the CEO of AAR, Kurt Carpenter, the VP of United Airlines, Rebecca McPherson, the Great Lakes Regional Administrator for the FAA, and of course, the leadership of the Aviation Institute of Maintenance, Dr. Joel English and Ch Chancellor Kenneth Alexander, who are heading up an incredible project that we get to celebrate today. I'm also very proud to be joined by Congresswoman Marie Newman, by Juan Salgado, the Chancellor of the City Colleges of Chicago, Kimberly Hollingsworth of Olive Harvey College, Representative Teresa Ma, Representative LaShawn Ford, Senator Tony Munoz, Michael Fosnock, the CEO of World Business Chicago, and countless other local leaders here today who have been truly instrumental in bringing this project to Illinois. And of course, I want to thank our DCEO director, our Department of Commerce director, that is uh, Sylvia Garcia, who's here with us, and you'll hear from shortly. Our long-term economic success as a state depends upon our investment in the next generation, who will soon take on the task of steering our most important industries. By empowering a diverse and talented pool of professionals to step up to the plate, we can ensure that our businesses and our institutions here in Illinois will continue to grow and innovate and thrive well into the future. That includes especially our airline and aircraft and transportation industries. Already, Illinois is, a, is frankly a, an important transportation hub uh, for us in terms of our air transportation, as it is uh, an important uh, industry in terms of ground transportation. Um, and our, we have five world-class international airports here. O'Hare and Midway, everybody knows, here in the Chicago area, as well as in Rockford, in Mid-America Airport, and Quad Cities. These all will play an important role, a critical role, in continued expansion of trade and tourism for our state. We're also home to the headquarters of leading companies that are represented here today, AAR, for example, and United Airlines, not to mention the Boeing Company, based just a few miles from here. This industry is expected to bring 4,300 aviation-related jobs to Illinois in just the next decade, growing at a much faster pace than the U.S. average. Well, as governor, I'm committed to bringing on Illinois' transportation leadership and helping to build on it by working to educate and empower new talent and bring historically underrepresented populations into the field. Reinforcing and diversifying our aviation workforce to meet the demands of the next decades. Today, we are celebrating a powerful step 
towards that vision in Chicago's very own McKinley Park neighborhood. This month, with the support of an EDGE agreement from the state, the Aviation Institute of Maintenance, or AIM, is set up uh, to open its largest aviation training facility here in Chicago. A $10 million investment in Illinois' transportation talent and the southwest side. I want to thank the AIM team that's here, Executive Vice President Dr. English, of course, for bringing their faculty and facilities to Chicago. By choosing McKinley Park for your new campus, AIM is generating opportunity in a historically underserved neighborhood through 75 new jobs for the community here on the southwest side, not to mention the hundreds of qualified trainees that they're expected to produce every single year. And with the facility's commitment to recruit locally, that means that more opportunity will exist for populations historically underrepresented in the aviation field to break into this industry. A more equitable economy is a more successful economy. And I'm very proud to help accessible opportunity take shape in communities left behind for far too long. I'm very grateful for the project's educational partners in the City Colleges of Chicago and Juan Salgado under his leadership, and of course our state university system, institutions that continue to strengthen and support our state's workforce. In the coming years, AIM students will be able to earn course credits from a network of university partners spanning from Olive Harvey College here in Chicago to Southern Illinois University in Carbondale, connecting students throughout Illinois to the coursework, the resources, the degrees that they need to thrive in this field. When it comes to the future of aviation in Illinois, the sky's the limit. And I, for one, am excited to watch the AIM campus take the talent, diversity, and strength of our workforce to new heights. And with that, I am very proud to introduce a real champion, not just for our transportation industry and for infrastructure, but for all the people that she represents here in the Chicago area, and because her values are values that I share and so many other people share, uh, we are very proud of the work that she's doing for us in Washington, D.C., and that's Congresswoman Marie Newman. Congresswoman? Well, good afternoon, everybody. Did you feel, when you walked through those doors, inspiration, enthusiasm, and a bright, bright future for all of the folks that graduate from this program? I hope you did, because I felt it the minute I came in the door. So thank you for having me today, and thank you, Governor Pritzker. Without your leadership and passion for transportation and workforce development, we would not be standing here today um, to have such a very important announcement. The same really goes for everybody else here, including the folks um, in behind me and in front of me. Um, everyone has worked really collectively and in great partnership, too, which I'm very proud of, um, to bring the state-of-the-art aviation training facility to Chicago not only to Chicago, but Chicago's McKinley Park neighborhood, where we're standing right now in Illinois 3. So I'm bursting with pride right now. This is amazing. You know, I might be just a little bit biased, but this is the right place for this to be. It's the right place, the right talent, and the right neighborhood. Aviation has been at the heart of Illinois' third congressional district in Chicago's southwest side since Midway International came here uh, almost a century ago. Amazing. And with the AIMS new start of the state-of-the-art aviation training facility in McKinley Park, our district and the entirety of Illinois are reaffirming our global reputation as a proven leader in transportation investments, innovation, and opportunity. Through the workforce training program at this new campus, we're not only preparing Illinois' next generation and future of jobs, but also delivering the critical economic development new and sustainable good-paying jobs that will keep our community thriving for decades to come. From the pockets of McKinley Park to every corner of Illinois, investments like these are absolutely critical for job creation throughout our entire region. It is exactly why I am fighting in D.C. to expand with 
uh, expand on President Biden's bipartisan infrastructure plan. Because I know fixing broken roads is not enough, right? We must also provide a road to economic stability in all of our neighborhoods. That means workforce training programs. It means good paying union jobs. And that means investing in not only transportation, but real innovation that will lift up the entire industry. And that especially is why today represents such one more reason why there is no state more ready to lead on this national effort than Illinois. This facility will represent the future of aviation industry, and I can't wait to watch it grow, and I can't wait to see all of the amazing students that become professionals coming out of it. Thank you again for letting me speak today, and now it's my honor to introduce Sylvia Garcia, the Acting Director of Illinois Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity. Thanks so much. Thank you, Congressman, Congresswoman Newman. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Sylvia Garcia, and I'm the Acting Director of the Illinois Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity, or as we like to call it, DCO. As the governor mentioned earlier, we're very happy to be here today and joining Aviation Institute, Maintenance, Aviation Institute of Maintenance, or AIM, the City of Chicago, and our partners in the aviation industry, along with many elected officials, to announce this major investment that will bolster the talent pipeline here in Illinois and help meet the future needs of Illinois employers. When DCO first heard from the team at AIM last year about the opportunity to land their 14th and largest campus right here in Illinois, we jumped into action, working with our state and local partners to develop the infrastructure needed to turn this campus into a reality. With the support of an edge agreement from the state, AIM has committed to creating at least 75 jobs for Illinois residents and investing $10 million in capital to redevelop this old manufacturing site, converting it into a 21st century aviation training facility. This new Aviation Institute will leverage educational partners from around the state to help cultivate that talent pipeline and help grow the growing aviation industry. Here, as we heard, some of our local residents will really be able to access that industry training that really will prepare them for that to be next generation mechanics who work on the aircrafts like the ones behind us and then much larger commercial and cargo equipment that's used to move people and goods around the globe. Really critical to our connectivity here in Illinois. One of the top reasons that companies rec relocate or expand here in Illinois is due to our t scaled talent and global workforce. We hear this from them time and time again. And under Gover Governor Pritzker's leadership as part of our five-year economic plan, he has prioritized making significant investments in workforce training for high-growth industries, including transportation. Another key pillar of our five-year economic plan is a focus on inclusive economic growth and closing the equity gap for all of our Illinois communities. This means prioritizing projects like this one that provide skilled training where historically has not been available before. By partnering and working with community colleges like Olive Harvey, which is located in a majority minority community, AIM will help to ensure that as we grow the aviation industry, we're also growing and creating opportunities for black and brown residents to enter high paying fields. These partnerships with colleges and universities will help local aviation giants like United Airlines, Boeing, AAR Corp, and others ensure that they have access to the trained, talents, ta trained talent that they need to sustain their future growth. I want to close by emphasizing that while this project formally launches today, the state's role in supporting AIM in the future is far from over. We look forward to working with them as they enroll more students and invest more in our Illinois communities. Thank you again for having me today. Congratulations to AIM and all the local partners. And now I'd like to introduce John Holmes, CEO of AAR, one of our prominent aviation employers. Thank you. All right, thank you. Good afternoon. I am thrilled to be here today with my fellow speakers, Governor Pritzker, Dr. English, Representative Newman, Chancellor Salgado, Director Garcia, and Michael Fasnacht to be part of this very, very special announcement. Today is a significant day, not just for AIM, but for our great city of Chicago and the state of Illinois. Today, AIM celebrates its 14th campus opening, which will benefit the residents of Chicago's South Side, our entire city, our entire state, and likely beyond. To the students in the audience today who are part of AIM's inaugural class, I want to congratulate you for taking the first step towards a career in aviation by studying to become an aviation maintenance technician. And I want to let you know that uh, I'm going to be handing out business cards after this. So uh, when you graduate and want a job, we're hiring big time. Um, 
The need for aviation maintenance technicians is tremendous. There is a shortage of talent already today in the industry, and that is projected to grow. It is estimated that our industry will need over 130,000 new maintenance technicians in North America and over 600,000 new maintenance technicians globally over the next several years. Interestingly, I've been talking about that need for several years now, and those numbers have continued to grow even with the impact of COVID on the demand for air travel. These numbers are important to AAR because we are the largest maintenance, repair, and overhaul company in North America and the third largest in the world, and we feel that shortage of talent every day. In fact, if the first class of 250 or 300 people were graduating right now, we would have jobs for every one of you. It is because of this industry shortage that AAR has been leading the way to bring new training opportunities to the communities throughout our network. With the strong support and direct personal involvement of former Mayor Manuel, Mayor Manuel our first project in Chicago was a partner you heard, partnership you heard about earlier with all of Harvey College uh, just down the road. There we developed a small aviation sheet metal program back in 2018, and since then we have graduated dozens of students in multiple cohorts and AAR and other companies have been able to make some terrific hires. AIM's new training center takes that vision to the next level. AAR has been a partner with AIM for many years now, and back in 2020, we approached AIM to see if they would consider bringing a campus to Chicago. At the same time, to see if they would help us expand our educational offering over at Olive Harvey. One thing led to another, and thanks to the hard work and support of Governor Pritzker and his team, Mayor Lightfoot and her team, and Chancellor Salgado and his team, we are exceptionally proud to be here today. From our Olive Harvey program, can, students can continue their education here at AIM to get more advanced certifications, and ultimately, upon graduation, AAR, amongst the other great companies like United, Southwest, Boeing, and others, will be eagerly waiting to hire them into long-standing, well-paid, long-lasting, rewarding careers in aviation. But this opportunity is more than just filling the need for skilled talent in aviation. This also represents a tremendous opportunity to bring more diversity to the aviation industry. Today, women make up just 2.4% of the aviation maintenance technical workforce, and people of color represent less than 10%. If we are to meet the demands of the future, we must create additional career pathways for people where aviation has not been a traditional career option. I'm really happy to say that with AIM's largest campus now here on the south side of Chicago, we have taken a huge step towards that goal. On a personal note, I've lived downtown here in Chicago for over 20 years, and I don't have to tell anybody here that the last 18 months have been a particularly difficult time for our city. AIM could have chosen many other locations for this new campus, and it says a lot about their values and the strength of Chicago that they chose this location at this moment in time, and I want to thank AIM for making that decision. I also want to thank Aerostar Avion Institute, Chicago Cred, the Chicago Urban League, the YWCA, Perspectives High School, and others that have remained focused on the growth of the aviation workforce. Together, we are making tremendous progress. Once again, congratulations to AIM for this significant accomplishment. And now it's my distinct pleasure to turn this over to Chancellor Juan Salgado, who has been a tremendous partner and supporter of these efforts for the last several years. Chancellor. John, I really want to thank you for uh, seeing what we at City Colleges see every single day. I want to thank John and all the other industry leaders here that see what we see every day. And what we see every day is the exceptional talent that exists within our communities. The incredible ability that if you provide an opportunity like we are providing at City Colleges of Chicago, like is provi being provided here with AIM, our people will deliver. They will deliver value to your companies. And I want to appreciate John because John came to us, came to me a few years ago and said, let's put a focus here on aviation. Let's make sure we start building now. And, uh, you know, I really appreciate that because that has led us to a moment today uh, where, you know, with the, with the incredible support of Governor Pritzker. And Governor Pritzker, thank you for all of your efforts in Illinois 
to keep our economy strong and healthy and to keep us all safe and prosperous. Thank you, Mayor Lightfoot. Thank you, World Business Chicago. It takes a lot of effort by the public sector to make sure that these, these kinds of opportunities where the needs of business meets the exceptional talent in community become a reality. We need to do this and do more of that. So I can't thank you enough to our, all of our public elected officials that are here today. But I'm going to reserve my special thanks to AIM because this is an amazing facility. This is an amazing facility. And not only will this be the largest facility uh, in AIM's portfolio, but it'll also have the best partnership with a public institution, and that is City Colleges of Chicago. We will make sure that those pipelines from City Colleges to AIM and vice versa are strong and prosperous. For who? For who's sitting right there in front of me. Exceptional talent in communities with exceptional companies. Let's make those matches happen. Let's get this economy growing. And with that, let me introduce to you Michael Fosnott, World Vision Chicago, that has been doing great leadership here in our city. Good afternoon. My name is Michael Fosnott, the CEO of World Vision Chicago and the chief marketing officer of the great city of Chicago. When I saw the one of show, I said, why do I have to follow again Chancellor Salgado? who always rallies up the crowd, and I have to deliver a much better speech than he did. One day, I will be before him. I think the speaker before me said all the important things, so please just allow me to share one thought. Flying is beautiful. Flying is special. Flying is unique because it enables us to leave Chicago for a few days when it gets too cold. It enables us to bring other people from beautiful states like Texas to Chicago when they want to resettle. And flying is special. Normally, we only celebrate the pilots, the flight attendants. Today, we celebrate the mechanics and engineers who allow that we can fly safely, reliable, and on our time. Because without that, I could have not brought my daughter to college after 18 beautiful years. It was time for her to build her own life. Without you, without Ames, I could have not done that. So I really want to thank Ames to follow a cohort of over 60 companies who have opened up offices and relocated to Chicago in the state of Illinois since January of this year. This only happened because of the great leadership of Governor Pritzker and Mayor Loy Lightfoot. So I want to thank again Ames for the trust and great partners like United Airlines and AARP to make this happen. So now I think the moment is coming we're all waiting for, and it is not lunch yet, it is really the ribbon cutting. Let's do it. Institute of Maintenance in Chicago, formally open. Yeah. 